Oh. Hey, do you know that feeling? You just really want to shoot something epic, something with speed, dirt, really getting in there to get the shots. That's exactly what we're going to be doing today in this video, because I came across Buzz, his Instagram, and he has such a unique motorbike. It's a trophy bike, and honestly, it just looks like something from the military. You can already guess what I did. I sent him a message and he was down to shoot. So we planned a date and off we went. So in this video, I'm going to bring you along for this photo shoot. So sit down, grab yourself some chippies get comfortable and let's go So we're going to be shooting in the docks in Amsterdam and this is the perfect location for this shoot because it has lots of dirt to play around with and wide open space so no one can disturb us and it's such an industrial backdrop which I felt like would work really well with this motorbike. So in this video I'm going to be shooting with the 85mm f2.0 from Canon and the 7200 f2.8 from Sigma. I am not gonna lie, I was actually quite nervous for this photo shoot because when we got to the location, there was not one bike, but three. In my head, I had a little bit of an error. I was like, oh crap, how am I gonna compose three bikes? And to sort of get myself out of that state, I know it really helps to just start shooting, try as many different things, and slowly but steady, you'll figure out what's gonna work and you'll get in the flow. So I started off with some panning shots, literally the hardest thing you can do to start off with, but we actually got a great shot. So I just asked the riders to drive around in circles and that actually gave me a lot of different photo opportunities as well. Yeah, that's it. shooting around 7, 6 o'clock, which means that we're actually going to be shooting into the night. And I really, really love doing that for my photo shoots because this gives you the opportunity to shoot in daytime, sunset and blue hours. So three completely different atmospheres when it comes down to lighting. Before the sun was going to be gone, I really wanted to use it as backlight for my photos. So I asked the riders to come driving towards me, sort of doing like, how do you call this, the skid to kick up some dust and the dust gets really accentuated by the backlight of the sun. Sick. So the shots were cool but I was still missing something in my photo so we decided to add some atmosphere. All right, so I was already dirty. I was covered in mud, so I was like, why not go all in? So I asked the rider to sort of like do skids or how do you call them? Not burnouts, donuts in front of me. So all the dust would come towards the camera. And I was sort of holding my heart because I was like, this can mess up my camera big time.
Okay, so before we dive into the most exciting part of this video, which is Blue Hour, I love Blue Hour. This year I've teamed up with Epidemic Sound to give you an exclusive discount on their music. And you can get access to two months of free music and sounds by clicking the link down below. So the discount is valid for the personal plan and the offer will be available for five days only. So make sure not to miss out on this once a year offer and a diverse music catalog of Epidemic Sound. So click the link in my description, that's where you can find all the information. And you might already know this, but I use Epidemic Sound in literally every single one of my videos. And especially for this video, some badass music just couldn't miss with these bikes. I cannot wait for you to try this out. It's honestly a lifesaver because sometimes I have a sort of like a sequence in my head and I'm like, Oh, I just know this type of music would work so well for this clip and I go on Epidemic Sound and I'm so so happy that I can offer you this collaboration as well. So let's get into the last part of the photo shoot which is Blue Hour and mm, chef's kiss the blue of the sky works so beautifully with the red of the tail lights from the bikes. Bye. Have a home before dark yeah. Nice. So I asked Bus to like stand in the middle of this sort of, I don't know, sand field or whatever. And I asked one of the riders to drive around him to kick up some dust. Wait, another crazy thing that I want to mention. These bikes are so incredibly heavy. You have to lift them up with like your back towards the bike and sort of lift them up like that. So that's why it's extra crazy. They can do these tricks on the bikes. Like, I don't know how they did it. Um, we gave it a try as well. That wrapped up the complete shoot. I had so much fun. This whole shoot is just so up my alley because I can edit the shots very moody. All the dust kicking up, it just creates such an awesome atmosphere in my photos. Yeah, it was a party to edit all these shots. I've actually edited all of these photos you've seen with my Lightroom presets. You can find these in the description and I have a 35% discount going on. So make sure you're quick. What else do I want to say? I really want to thank the boys for coming down to this photo shoot. It was lots and lots of fun. Make sure to definitely check out their Instagram pages as well. They create such cool videos and photos. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I also hope to see you at my next one. Okay, bye-bye. Doei! Can I share a little secret with you? So I have my notebook here and it's actually work as a reflector for the sunlight. Do you see that? My face just lights up a little bit more. The more you know.